to Most know that you are going to college. Let me, let, let me prove this to you. How many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take? Every single hand. You're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Why can't you say I don't want to take this class? Why are you a why is um, a customer you can't Can you say do it? a differential equation? You what? Can you do a differential equation? Can I do can a Can you explain to me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like someone off the top of my head? You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology is. Okay, can you Freud explain it to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it to it, the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a, a second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs, masters. Yeah, because you study this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's the point. Is you can do whatever you want without a college degree. You can listen to podcasts, read you, books. You think don't about need if to Gauss go. Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's said, literally the uh, reason. I, I can't hear Gauss, what you said. What did you say? You know Gauss, right? No, uh, Repetition. Yeah, sh it's vaguely, sure. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Kick. According to Charlie Kick, you love kicking ass. Puts arrogant college students in his place. Okay, let's give this a try. Yes. I'd like to disagree with you right, about uh, college as a scam. Okay. Just because there's 50% of people who you say don't need college to get a job, why would it be a scam? There's a social impact about college, about on America. College is, you know, good. The majority of kids that go to college when they graduate have a lower view of America than when they entered. Do you think that's a troubling thing? I think just changing your opinion doesn't really matter too much. D do you think that college teaches responsibility and hard work and... Sure. Okay, well, I, I find that hard to believe. Why is it that employers are more and more not wanting to hire college graduates, and they actually want to hire people that didn't go to college. What employers? Uh, you can name them out, man. Walmart just got rid of their, uh, even in their corporate level, so you don't need to go to college. Coke Industries, one of the largest employers in the country, from Georgia Pacific Railroad to uh, Dow Chemical. They said, we no longer want kids that have gone to college because okay. they end up causing problems because they're super entitled, and they're like, oh, what are my pronouns? And they have all this like left-wing nonsense that they've been filled with. Well, then you have engineers, doctors, lawyers, people that Sure, we need that, but that's less than 20% of the people that go to college. Yeah, but college it, it'd is an be wrong to say college is a scam if 25% of people become great people. You know, lawyers, doctors, engineers. That's not what really college currently is, though. Again, I, I'm happy to have you read the book, College is a Scam. I wrote it. I can have a more wordy thing, which is the vast majority of people that go to college are receiving a scam for the money that they're borrowing. The vast majority. That's of course there's exceptions. You can make whatever you want with your life. I mean, you could... But, I mean, when you enter into an enterprise, yeah, you need to know that you are currently... Yeah, but most people that go into college make more money at the end. How many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take? Every single hand. You're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Why can't you say, I don't want to take this class? Why are you... Why um, is a customer you can can't say... Can you do a differential equation? You what? Can you do a differential equation? Can I do can a... Can you explain to me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like someone off the top of my head. You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology. Okay, I've read can you Freud explain and I've read you to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it, it to the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a, a second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs. Yeah, you study masters. this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's the point. Is you can do whatever you want without a college degree. You can listen to podcasts, but read you, books. You think don't about need if to Gauss go. Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's said, literally the uh, reason. I, I can't hear Gauss, what you said. What'd you say? You know Gauss, right? No, uh, Mathematician. Yes, yeah, vaguely, sure. Okay. Vaguely? Yes, vaguely, yeah. Oh, Do you know okay. who Mel Freeman is? Do you know who Herbert Marcuse is? Do you know who Thomas Soul is? Do you use a phone? Do you know who Gubernur Morris is? Well, that's because of Gauss. No, you don't. So I could do gotcha too. Like, so Euler before you is, try to went, get going off to your university ivory tower is the and reason that, that not he, became, everybody, he was able to become so proficient in mathematics so here, here's and the change thing. the world. The majority of kids that go Most to college people that are get more a depressed than when they enter. PhD degree are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then, if that's the question, if that really is true, if well, college is this amazing accelerant, then why do so I many people? I wouldn't say it's accelerant, but if you're looking at a field of science, right? Let me finish. Man. And you want to have you taken a communication course, science. or have you not done you that yet? You need a degree. All right, okay, okay, let, let me let me fit, make my point. If that's the case, why do half of these kids end up with anywhere between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and they end up getting a job that says, "Oh, sorry, you never needed the degree in the first place." Why is that the case? Tell me. Uh, people, on average, once going to the college, make more money. 
Hold on, no, that's not true. They end up getting that, a job. That is. At, and the, that's only if they graduate in the. And it depends on the field of study. Do you know the a, the average college graduate now is at, is is getting a job at sixty one thousand dollars a year. The average plumber after eighteen months sixty eight thousand dollars a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder plumber seventy two thousand dollars a year. With peers, the, the, well, the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to trade or technical school. There's eleven million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, who engineered million. the stuff plumbers use? I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the stuff plumbers use? I, I'm sure someone here. I mean, that it's it's uh, like someone with a degree. It's like saying who from designed college. the airplane for the pilot to fly. I mean, someone with a degree that went I, to college. I, 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 go to college? A, I, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying you get rid of all places of higher learning. The way it's currently comprised for you guys, the amount of debt you have to go into, the classes well, you that say you have to don't take. Don't get rid of places of higher learning. Okay, but then you go on to you're say you're me every 15 scam. seconds. You're not debating in, in good faith because it is a scam. So let me ask you a question. Can you point to other things of American life the last hundred years that have been scams? For example, when Someone, they run an advertisement. They say, buy these pills because, you know, we're going to make you super muscular. And they don't have all the fine print that it might not work and you have to have a monthly subscription. We shut down that business for being That's a, a scam. That's a little different, though. That's a How product. is it different? Hold on a second. When you show up to college, did they tell you you have to take all these classes that you didn't sign up for? Yeah. Did they, oh, they, they, they said that you're going to have to take all these different classes. Did they tell you that half of you guys would not ever use your degree when you go into your career? How many guys knew that? You guys knew that when you signed up? Yeah. Well, college you is what you well, then make of you guys it, right? Are, you guys are willingly participating in the scam. Good for you. The point is this, is that most kids know deep down they're getting ripped off. The number one thing I hear from people across the country in corporate America, boy, college is a waste of time. Boy, I wish I never would have gone. Now I have $60,000 of debt, $70,000 in debt. I wanted to start a business, but now I don't have the credit to do it. Instead, we are wasting our most prized possession, our 18 to 22 year olds, to go stick them at many universities when they shouldn't be here in the first place. And it is a failed project. It is making us poorer. It is making, and by the way, just just, just look at the actual numbers over a period of time. Has it worked? Is homeownership now going up for young college well, graduates? How are we going to blame that on college, though? It's the There's no, a it's lot the, of different it, reasons it is the that most people are not able applicable, to buy homes. It's the most equally mm. applicable thing across the board for a I generation. Say so. And, and it, it, if you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school, by the way? None. None? Okay, wow. Do you, are you on scholarship or? Yeah. Okay, so who's paying for your college then? Probably the federal government. Okay, so I'm paying for your college, is what you're saying. Uh, My taxes are paying for your college. So wait, do you have a, you're on grant or what? Uh, I'm not going to discuss my college finances. With well, you. no, this is really important. This is why you're so defensive of college. Yeah. This is why you're so forceful because you don't have to walk around the rest of your life with a hundred thousand dollars student I loan debt. I know plenty of people because, that have part-time jobs no, no, and no, go to this college. Ex this explains you perfectly. I, the taxpayer, when I write my check to the IRS, I'm subsidizing your ability to go to college. Okay. When and I, I think write that's a huge my mistake check to the IRS, cause, I cause also give money for people to go to college. You should have skin in the game. You should, and you don't right now. You are doing a freeloading thing. Of course, you should be defensive I of college. I pay taxes. I pay federal taxes. Yeah, I, I pay state taxes. I, 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 well, I'm sure I pay a little bit more than you, taxes, but that's a separate but issue. But the point is this: is that's that probably true. I, do you, do you, th you think you pay anywhere close to the tuition value you get at the school? Probably not. Yeah, probably I do. It's like five thousand a semester. It's a lot of money, but you get a lot out of Wait, that. Wait, hold on. How much is it to go to school here? It's around five thousand. So in state. In state, yeah. Okay, five, did that include room and board and tuition? No. Okay, how much does it does that cost? Uh, room, board, tuition, all of it's around 11000 11000 a semester. So you pay $22,000 a year in taxes? Uh, no. Okay, got it. So you're, you're in a tax deficit, which means the U.S. taxpayer is subsidizing your education. That's fine. I'm not faulting you for it, but this is why you're so defensive, is you're detached from the price. You're detached from the cost. It's easy to be defensive of something you're not paying for. This, is, this was heated. This was heated. Um, the guy, the students right here, the college students right here, actually have good points of view. Like, truth be told, his his point of view makes sense. I wouldn't lie. Um, Charlie is telling him that a lot of people. I know it's because of statistics or data that a lot of people who go to college tend to regret the, going to college because they're not actually using that degree. But at the same time, if we look at the clear picture, is that people who are going to college are actually making great impact in the world. You can't you can't dispute that. Aside the depth they go into, but they are trying doing some renovative stuff. They are trying using that degree for something, and aside that, they are also making changes, impact into the entire world. Just someone who did IT now can go do some coding. You you need to go to college to be able to fully learn that. I know some people do home research and learn. But you need to go to college to fully learn that. And aside that, you, you still need to go to college to be a full-time doctor. 
It's need to go to college to be a full-time lawyer. And Charlie is not disputing that there are reasonable um, degrees you, you, you do that have great impacts. But why is saying that college is actually a scam because some people end up having debts? But at the same time, people are having debts. A lot of people who go to college are making great impacts in the world. There are some certain things you will know if you didn't go to college. That is the boy's point of the view. Uh, the, co the college student point of view, and I accept that. It's, it's true. The college student said a lot of truthful things here. I won't lie. Um, I love Charlie, but the truth is the truth. The college student said a lot of truthful things I, I support it with. I graduated from college. <laughs> I went to college myself. And there are a lot of things you will not know if you didn't go to college. You can, you can read books. According to what Charlie said, you can read books. You can, you can make researches. But going to college is an eye-opener. There is self-teaching and going to college and people were educating you out of, their, out of what they inquire for years and teaching you is different from you teaching yourself. You teaching yourself, reading books and stuff, it, it will educate you, no, no doubt. But you going to college, being in a congregation of thousands or hundreds of people and learning some things that educates you and people debating, talking about this, you are seeing different people points of the view, you are enlightening your brain more. It's, 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 it's beautiful. And you going to college will make you experience that. You understand? That is the boys, the college student point of the view. And I totally accept that. So when you come to Charlie's point of the view, is that you don't need a college degree to have a good, good job. You don't need a college degree to be someone successful in the, in, in this, in the society. It's just that people who do not go to college are all ashamed for. People kind of like reduce them in the society. Like, you didn't go to college, so why are you talking to me? You can't advise me. You can't, you can't follow me to talk. We're not in the same level. So, tell the point of the view is that people who didn't go to college, it's still the same equal right to people who go to college. That is what Charlie is trying to talk about. Period. It's, that's exactly what Charlie is trying to talk about. And if you kind of think about it, is that it's the truth. People who didn't go to college, are still successful in respect of you going to college or not going to college. But the difference is the learning aspect. That is the massive difference. The learning aspect is totally different. You earning the same money the person goes to college, you can earn the same money. But the learning aspect is totally different. You will earn more. You can earn more. A college dropout can earn more. Someone who didn't go to college can earn more than someone who goes to college. Truth be told. But the learning aspect is the difference. The, the, the society we live in now is that people look down at people who, who did not go to college. That is the red flag I don't accept. That is the faulty part I don't accept. It's not everyone who wants to go to college. And you going to college, people see it as a scam is that you tend to have debts, hundreds of thousands of debts, 50 something thousand, 60 something thousand, 80 something thousand of debts that you have to pay once you're done to college. Then you start working and paying for your debts, which is a scam that Charlie is trying to talk about. And some people tend not to use their degree in the first place. That, that is um, something we should tackle. It's a discussion to tackle. That does not mean college is scam. Now, college is useful. One phrase or another in your life, you surely have the moments of, oh, thank God I went to college. I actually know this. Thank God I went to, I went to college. This was actually something they taught us during this time. It's useful now. Even if you're not using the degree, but the knowledge stays. The only part I don't accept is when someone goes to college and feels like the knowledge is useless. No. Anything you learn is useful. So the, the college student right here, I know that he, he was actually arrogant. Truth. But there are some words he, he there's some points he pointed out that are actually true. And we should take it into consideration. We shouldn't just state that college is a scam. No, college is not totally, it's not, a, it's not a scam. I won't say it's a scam. We know people enter debt and people regret going to college, but that doesn't mean it's a scam because college have massive impact in the life of people in, in our society. Very massive impact. So comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.
I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales on